You know I'm going to be late for work, don't you? Yeah. Damn it. Why the hell did you come this way for anyway? Just be serious with the chief super out and about. Why don't you go and play with your mates? Never mind about me. You know there's one thing I hate, and that's being late for work. Why? Well, it might need me. Ted, I've got to get to work. Anyway, I'm bursting for a slash. Ted, I said I'm going to get. Keep up the good work, Smith. Right, sir. So how many uh, pieces do you want to go to the hospital with you? One, that's all. So in that case, you could take another three not badly injured out of the coach? Yes. Yeah, good. So okay. just, just a second. Um, sir. Uh, William, here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all right. We'll get hold of the muzzle to give you a hand, OK? Um, get hold of the frame, get hold of Frank, and then go with this gent at the hospital, will you, OK? What's the situation? Oh, it's a right mess, sir. Uh, the driver of the Porsche reckons his brakes went. I think he must having a burn-up with the motorcycle. Just he was passing the coach, the driver flashed the lorry to come out of the uh, site here, and that was that. What's the problem with the girl in the car? Well, <clears throat> the doctor, she, she's got spinal injury. He doesn't want to move her out of the seat, so he's going to cut her out. What's the time, please? Just off the lorry. I always have a cup of tea up on his desk when he comes in for nine. Who's that, your boss? Yeah. <laughs> Is he all right? Yeah. Keep coming. Yes, he's fine. He's just got a few cuts and bruises. Now, look, try and keep your head still, all right? Remember yeah, what the doctor right. said. There we are. Yeah. Yeah, you're nearly out right. now. Here we okay. go. Keep going. Okay. How many did? Six, sir. I'm hoping you use a school round the corner as a temporary mortuary. I've got Shaw round there arranging it at the moment. A school, Bob? That's not on, surely. Well, it's half term. There's no kids about. I don't think it's a very good idea. Well, it's the only place available. One of the big questions asked, there's bound to be. Carver. Up, yeah. That's all right, here's one. 9 2 9 2 from 8 7 8 receiving over. Oh, just cover him up for Christ's sake, then go and help the others. 9 2 receiving. Yeah, go ahead. Got a bit of fucking school, Sarge. Get in the bodies in here. All right, I'll get around and sort it out. Look, I'll drop by in the second half. Would you be able to, sir? Because I'm very short on manpower. Yes, of course. Tell sure I'm on my way, not to do anything till I get there. Right. Nick, the Chief Super will be with you in a couple of minutes. Don't do anything until he gets there. Perfect, for Christ's sake. Don't just stand there like a prick. Go and find Frank. I want you back at the Nick to run the incident room. Sarge. I don't know why I'm doing this, Sarge. You moan like an old woman, Holly. So I don't know what's wrong with you. 
But Sarge, I'm supposed to be on light duties. Nine till five. That's what the CMO said, anyway. Any strain on my back could return any progress. I haven't seen Ted Roach of you, Sarge. No, Mike, sorry. Nah, Scalloway's doing his nut up there. Uh, if you're caught smoking today, it's going to cost you a quid each time. Oh, haven't you got anything better to do, Tom? Shouldn't you be out looking after that accident or something? Duty sergeant's got to stay at the station. Besides, somebody's got to look after Hollis. Yeah. No, it is on a good course, though, Mike. Yeah, well, I'll bear it in mind, Sarge. Yeah, do that, eh? Sarge? According to general orders, if I return any Shut progress up, to good Hollis, health, will you? I'll lose any compensation. Oh. Them bodies all over the place. Those old ladies are marvellous, aren't they? No panic, yeah, nothing. Yeah, well, they lived through the blitz, didn't they? At least some of them did. Anyway, if I can do no more, mate. Thanks a lot, Sarge. Yeah, cheers, mate. Linda, where are you going? I'm going by you. Well, hang on a minute. And, uh, don't come home tonight smelling a booze. All right. You better have them off when I get home, then. I've only had the Porsche about four weeks. If the brakes fail, the brakes fail. It's the least of your worries, Mr. Proctor. I want to explain what happened. I saw that I want to get this. Come on, lads. Right, up. Yeah, fine. I must apologise for my officers troubling you like this, Miss Potts. Particularly during half term. I'll be quite honest, Mr. Brownlow. I don't approve of this at all. If the headmaster's given his authority, then that's his decision. Yes, of course. Quite a I thought it was quite against official policy to allow this kind of use. We wouldn't have asked you during the evening. I do need to clear the scene of that accident as quickly as possible. Get the injured to hospital, remove the wreckage. I understand and the problem. As long as we're not setting precedents or bending rules. We're all public servants at a time like this, Miss Potts. We can't shirk our responsibilities. No. It's only a temporary measure till we can find suitable mortuary space. If I want to get in touch with you, Mr. Brownlow. I shall be in here. I intend conducting the identification myself. At least the headmaster will be pleased to hear about that. You're very helpful, Miss Potts. Thank you. Sure. Get Sergeant Cryer on the air, will you? Sir. And two. Hello. Hello. Keep going. Keep coming. Keep coming. Hello. Hello. Keep coming. No, it's, it's all right, it's all right. Yeah. Try, and, try and keep your head still, all right, darling? No, try and keep legs. still. Oh, no. It's my legs, they're numb. Legs. I can't feel All right, them. don't worry. We'll soon have you out. Now, just try and keep very still, OK? Yeah. All right, good girl. Yeah. Driver of the Porsche wasn't kidding. The brakes have gone. Oh, well, no, receiving, over. You're nine to receiving. Go ahead. Arrangements have been made to for a temporary mortuary charge, over. Good. Stay where you are, Nick. I'll start making arrangements at this end. Over and out. Sorry, Johnny. What were you saying? Someone has been messing about with that Porsche. It's not only the brakes. Well, how do you mean? Well, if I were you, I'd get it on a low loader, get it down to the Nick, and call in the stolen car squad. What, a ringer? Here it is. Registration plate changed, and recently. Not false. Well, it's all new. Tell you what, Bob, I'll uh, arrange for a C16 investigation, if you like. Right. Um, can you let Roy Galloway know as well? Sure. He's a DI, isn't he? Yeah, that's Sarge, right. He doesn't want to be left Sarge, out of things like this. Like yeah, all right. Thanks, Tommy. Bye, Bob. I'll take a hit. Take your time. Take your time. Nice and easy, love. Nice and easy. Don't move. Okay. Let's get you sorted out first, shall we? Take your time. Mind the back on the back. Get them careful, Jim. Over. Cheers, you Cheers. Cheers. We're on the table. We're on the table. What's in value? What's your food? Keep on coming. Go on, Apple. Okay. 
Right, I want you to go to the hospital and start taking statements from anyone who hasn't been seen yet, okay? And Jimmy, don't disappear. See if she's left anything in the cortina and then get it towed away. Shall, right? I, shall I go down to the hospital after the Sarge? Um, yeah, but I want you back at the Nick's. Don't make a meal of it. And that applies to you in all June. Come on. Hey? And when you've got her in the hospital and she's settled in, you know you're going to have to tell her, don't you? You mean tell her husband's been killed? Ah. You don't have to do it to you, Sarge. Ah, you'll be all right. Cheers, Sarge. Sorry I didn't get on you, Viv. How do you tell a mother her son's just been killed in a road accident? You've got to come straight out with it, Viv. That's what you should have done. Wallop. That's the end of it. I nearly didn't tell her. I started talking a load of old fanny about something else than us. It happens. And when I did tell her, she acted as if it were a daily occurrence. She carried on polishing the table. I don't know what to do. And she suddenly burst into tears and it all came out. Anyway. Next one's down to me, OK? You stay in a motor. Technically, it's aggravated burglary. Uh, Chief Sutton won't wear that. It's to keep his crime figures down, doesn't he? Oh, it's some accident, I can Does tell you. Does it fit in with the other residential screws we've had this month? The losers have been on holiday. Couldn't be helped. Third time this week. I'm sorry. Where's Gio? Oh, yeah. I got held up in that accident, you know, honest. If I can get here, so can you. If this happens again this week, you'll be posted at a dream factory. Now, while you're here, get moving. There's already two in the book. Well, post into the yard, eh, Ted? You know, I can't imagine you as one of the Commissioner's bank clerks. Oh, why don't you wrap up? We think this kind of seems to be on the floor, Over there. What's her name? Mrs. Lockett. She's the daughter. Yeah, right. All right. Okay. Uh, Pete, be a little diplomatic, please. Well, I said to my Ronnie, not for the first time, I might add. Well, it's time that we had a holiday. We need a break. Can I help you? Mrs. Lockett? Yeah. Have a word with you, please. Yeah. In private. Um. It's been an accident, hasn't there? Yes. It's your mother. She's all right, isn't she? She's uh, in hospital. I see this. I think she should come down. Can I go? Uh, 
Now, Miss Lockett. She's not at the hospital. She's dead. Sorry. Well, what do you think? Mm. Well? Uh, is the ringer all right? Yeah. Will I tell Bob Cryer? Amongst other things, the uh, letter on the vehicle identification plate, which denotes the year of this model, doesn't match up to the year the license plates were issued. Bought it out the small ad, is that right? Yep, even in paper about a month ago. What's his name? Proctor. Julian Proctor. Yep. Well, I reckon it's made up out of three vehicles. Unfortunately for your Mr. Proctor, sir, it wasn't put together that well. Uh, it's not my Mr. Proctor. Yeah, well, Bob did say you'd be pleased to do the inquiries on it yourself. I bet he did. It's funny how these things turn up after a traffic accident, isn't it? Yeah, it's usually the way ringers come to light. So, what happens now? How long is this all going to take? Check with the manufacturers, their own records. Won't be easy to trace the other vehicles. I mean, a long-running model like this, most of the parts are interchangeable. Right, look, you do what you've got to do, and I'll send a bloke, one of my lads, down to the hospital to talk to Julian Proctor, see if I can trace where these bent motors are coming from. Ah, Ted. Yeah, I'm on my way. Forget that. I've got something else for you. Is it your son, Mrs. Davis? I don't know. Mrs. Davis. Don't start asking questions now, please. Just can you find it for me? It's, it's on the guarantee that Mr. Regan gave me for the Porsche. Had a mate bought a ringer once. I had no idea. Running about in it for years. Yes, that's it. It's in the drawer of my desk. Uh, She's gone to find it, Sergeant. I'm absolutely certain that the number and the address are on it. Oh, well, if the paper is written on, I once had a you mate. mind. I'm only trying to be helpful. Yeah, we'll just get on with what you're doing, will you? Let me get on with my job. Oh, that's ever happened. Now, listen, how did you pay this, Mr. Regan? By cash or check? For the Porsche? Well, yeah. It's £10,000 by check, of course. £10,000 out of an evening newspaper? You must be out of your brain. Quick sale. I own a guy in a brawl. That's what they usually say. It's a telephone number I had to ring between 7 and 8 while I rang, and Mr. Regan bought the car out of the house. Yeah. It's that. Would you like to take this down? Yes, yeah, sure. 47 Lower Pool Street. 47 Lower Pool Street. Sister, I'm sorry to bother you. Is there anybody here who does sign language? No, officer sign. No. I'll see you shortly. <coughs> Watch my lips, all right? I'll find somebody for you It's soon. not me, love, it's her. Oh. I'm sorry. Look, is there anybody here who can do sign language? <laughs> I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. Are there any <laughs> relatives or friends you'd like me to inform? If they're on the phone, I could, mm. I could ring them up and have them here in no time. Mm. It's no trouble. It is, sir. He's not my husband. But I thought... Lester. Mr. Simpson. He's the only man that ever mattered in my life. We loved each other so much. Is there a Mrs. Simpson? Oh, she mustn't know about us, please. Well, I've done all I can. 
Oh, cheers. The uh, council sent down a team to clear up the streets. That's taken care of. So it's down to the nitty gritty now, then, is it? I've still got the post more with all those bloody statements to get. Is the chief superphone in? Yeah, about ten minutes ago. Um, all the bodies have been. Information centre, can I help you? We love all that. We'll let Jim Rowley fall. Well, he's here. You can tell him yourself. Sarge. Yeah. Boy, who is it? Yorkie Smith. What's the word? What about the Porsche? Uh, Any luck yet? Roger's right, falling up a lead now. Yeah, avoiding me, I think. Yeah, and listen, no more today, Bob. I'm up to here, yeah, all right? Yorkie, right. what's your problem? Mrs. Simpson isn't Mrs. Simpson. The girl we pulled out of the Cortina was Simpson's girlfriend, Sarge. And his wife knows nothing about it. Are you kidding? No, he picks up on his way to work every morning. We've been having an affair for about 18 months now. I'm not sure how to handle this one, Sarge. Oh, you do complicate things, Yorkie. Honestly, you do. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll hand you back to one of my efficient office staff, all right? And they'll find out who the real Mrs. Simpson is for you. And as soon as you finish there, come on back with the rest of the lads in the van, all right? Hold on. And tell him if Proctor's fit enough to walk to bring him back with him, all right? OK, go ahead. Seven Lord Pool Street, Rotherham. Who are you? A rep. What a place to find a nightclub. Listen, mister, I don't know who you are, but I don't see reps till late afternoon, so piss off. Oh, you'll see this one. I represent the Metropolitan Police. Oh, you should have said. Why didn't you say? I just did. Roach. Sergeant Roach. Take a seat. Sit down. Do you want a coffee? Yeah, sure. I didn't quite catch your name. Harold. Harold Kay. What do you think of the place? Very nice. Who's Mr. Regan? You take sugar, I don't touch it myself. I've got such a weight problem, you wouldn't believe Regan. it. Regan? Oh, Regan, yeah, yeah. Um, he took one of the short let offices above the club. Really nice guy. He left about a fortnight ago. He only had it a month. I've got some Yorkshire geezer in there now. I can't understand a bloody word he's talking about. What business was he in? Toilet rolls. In the cupboard under the stairs. Where the hell do you think they're going to be? Do you know she's got five CSEs, that girl? You wouldn't believe it, would you? Regan, what business was he in? Um, imports and exports. Like what? Horse cars. Oh, now, nah, come on, no. The guy was straight. I mean, would I buy a motor off a geezer if it wasn't kosher? I mean, would I? Ain't she the business or ain't she the business? Yeah, it's a crumpet puller, all right. I mean, it's a sun motor, I can tell you. You a gambling man, Mr. K? Am I, a, am I a gambling man? You are looking at the biggest punter of all times. Why? Well, I bet you that somewhere out there there's a Ferrari, the same model, same colour, same licence plates. The problem is, who's got the straight one? A ringer? We can't be. From the plates from this or from a write-off. Whichever way you look at it, mate, you've got yourself a bent motor. Oh, you're guessing. I mean, Mr. Regan wouldn't do that to me. You prepared to bet on it? Come on, this is a routine inquiry. I don't want another morning like that ever again. Wish I had the first four hours off. My wrists are aching like hell from waving all that traffic about. Yeah, yeah. well, you know what you should give up then, don't you, Abe? When was the last time you ever did traffic duty then, eh? <laughs> I ignore him. Oh, Tab, did you get a reply from that home for the deaf and dumb? Uh, yeah, she, um, she can't read your eyes either. Be like it's insecure, apparently. Oh, thank God we found somebody she could communicate with. Yeah. Oh, just forget it. My mind tea, all right? Oh, you're smoking your weed, man. What you got, Yeah, what? Well, uh, That's our uh, strength this morning, yeah. eh? Oh, that porch was a ringer, right? Right. Nice. Right. Well, I reckon any geezer who can afford a motor like that. Come on. Hands oh. in your pockets, you morons. What? I haven't lit it, What are you talking right? about, Sarge? Yeah, what are you talking about, Sarge? That's a smoking day. It doesn't and count. Not yeah, come on, let's see. Yeah, you can finish it if you pay the money. Come on, 50 feet. can't possibly hold me responsible for those deaths. All the witnesses interviewed so far, Mr. Proctor, state more or less the same thing. The accident would not have occurred if you hadn't been going so ridiculously fast. Now, the facts will be reported. 
Therefore, I must caution you that you are likely to be charged with causing death by one of the following offences. Reckless, careless or dangerous driving. Fortunately, I don't have to make that decision. It's not in my hands. Not on the bloody paintwork. What's the matter with you? Please, tell me it was a mistake. He owes money everywhere. I mean, even experts make mistakes. No wonder he didn't come back and collect his mail. No forwarding address? No. What a bastard. <laughs> well, go on. Tell me the worst. Well, I'll have to do some more checking, get someone else to look at it. So you want a second opinion? What's it got, a liver complaint? Hey, just wrap up for a minute and listen. What do you think? Well, I'm 90% sure you've got yourself a ringer, Mr. K. Then what am I going to do? Let's go up to my office, see if we can salvage anything out of this mess. And listen, be gentle with her, will you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I've got all the information that I need, Miss Baby. If I need to come back to you, I'll ring you this afternoon. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so oh, thanks for trying anyway. Okay, then. Cheers. Thanks very much. Goodbye. This job is driving me up the wall. Our oh, Mrs. Simpson isn't at home. I'll be glad to get back onto the beach. Now, look, she can either have gone to Milton Keynes shopping for the day or to her sister's in Margate. Anything's better than shifting paper. Hey, now, then, you'll never guess who they've just brought in. Hey, DC. What are you trying to do? Give us a lot for you, you okay? What's the matter with you? Don't ever come in here like that. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Good morning. Ames, Roger Ames. Yes. Uh, poisoned all for Tyre Hamlet. Hey, we're only down to hospital licking old Biddy's handbags here. He's a little bastard. You want to keep an eye on him? Oh, look at that. You've had to cuff him. I suppose she could have gone away for the weekend, depending on which neighbour you've been Robin, you're not paying attention. Now, look, how are we going to get hold of Mrs. Simpson? Mrs. Simpson? Which one's she? It's only the one that's just become a widow, yeah? I've got a Ferrari downstairs. I think you to ring. I want C10 to come down and sort it out, OK? All I need to know, Gab, is whether Ferrari's staying here or going to Chalk Farm. I've had another idea. Why don't I keep hold of the motor and you can have it back whenever you want? Out of the question. I don't know what's happening yet. Book it in for now, all right? Right, girl. We'll have to apply to the court, mate. They'll make the decision as to ownership, all right? But that could take years. Well, if it's any consolation, Mr. Kane, we've got a very good case. Oh, thanks. You put my mind at rest. Yeah, have a look at this. He's only done the bank as well. Ten grand overdraft. Very good. What do you mean, very good? Well, we got a bit of help now. Yeah, the banks don't like being done either. Oh, I see. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. You got it. Hello, Dave. It's Roy Galloway. Hello, Roy. How's tricks? Uh, not so bad. Listen, I need a favour. Urgent. Yeah? Name of Regan. Account number 378-273714. You got that? Yeah. Uh, branch. King's Cross. How urgent? About two-ish in a drunken sailor around the back of the neck. Oh, that urgent. Afraid so. OK, mate. See you there. Cheers, Dave. Bye. Who's Dave? Collins used to be a DS in a robbery squad. Oh, that's marvellous, isn't it? From robbery squad to security. So when you see him, ask me if he wants to buy my car, will you? Lord Nick, that's a quid for charity. Sorry. What's he doing? What's going on? It's like a bloody nightmare. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that?
for longer. Me too. Don't use that as an anchor chief, Alice. Your nose will fall off. Uh -huh. Here we get a bloke down here next week. Just in time for the strip, yeah. Come on, I didn't think you were that desperate. Is that Dave Collins? Doesn't change. Go straight for the birds. You know me, Viv. Business before pleasure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, is Roy Galloway around? Yeah, over there. I'll be in touch. All right, see you yeah. soon. Bye. Bye. Cheerio. Hello, Sarge. How are you? Listen, I'll catch you later. Yeah. Hello, Roy. Uh, you know Ted Rhodes, don't you? Yeah, Ted. I do, mate. This is Mike Dashwood. Hello, Mike. All right, mate. Drink? Uh, yeah, gin and tonic, thanks. When you're ready. What'd you got for us, then? Oh, not a lot. Other than 150 grand went through Regan's account in two months, and he caught us for a 10 grand overdraft. I suppose the bank are going to write their little loss off with a stroke of a penny. Yeah, it was 10 grand between friends, eh? <laughs> yeah, well, it's early days yet. What about Regan's references for a bank account? Did you check them? Oh, give me a chance. It'll be yeah. as moody as the name Regan. I can tell you that for nothing. Yes. Well, before I start divulging confidential information, what's your interest? Uh, nothing for nothing, if you know what I mean. Ringers. Motors? Porsches, Ferraris, that kind of gear. Then he's using other names besides Regan. You can only play that kind of game for a short time before you get tumbled. What do you want, then? A gin and tonic. With ice and lemon. You were saying? Take a look at this. H. Wilshire, Turbury Crescent. What's all this about? Regan wrote out a cheque to that man for £200. It's the only cheque he wrote out to anyone other than for cash. Do we know anything about this, Mr. Wilshire? Nothing. I should think Wilshire was trying to avoid paying VAT. The cheque went through somebody else's account. Conveniently, he put his address on the back. Ted? One gin and tonic. Thanks very much. Mm. Cheers. So how did Regan first approach you then, Mr. Wilshire? He's coming at all, same as you. Said he wanted a couple of sturdy wooden crates. Cash job. Yeah. Didn't say what he wanted them for, by any chance, did he? Second-hand motor spares to send abroad. Well, it's not my sort of work, really, you know. Making up bloody big crates. There's no skill in it, you see. Still, you've got to earn a living. Motor vehicle spares, eh? That's what he said. How big? The crates. Yeah. Yeah, big. He gave me some measurements. I still must have them in here somewhere. What about the check? Well, he wanted to pay cash, but I charged him well over the odds. I took his breath away from me. So what happened? Well, he didn't have enough readies on him, and I wasn't going to let him have the crates till I got paid. So forcing him into writing a check, right? Yeah, we settled for half and half. Half cash, half check. He wasn't too pleased about it. I bet he wasn't. Listen, you didn't by any chance have to deliver him somewhere, did you? No, uh, I took him away on the back of a lorry. Galley Sidwick Car Breakers. What? Galley Sidwick Car Breakers. Yeah, that was the name on the side of the lorry. Well, his check might have bounced. Nice one. Oh, Gov, listen, I think we struck lucky. This car breakers has got to be the place. Great, look, find out a little more, Ted. Do a bit of research. If it still looks good, get a brief, we'll spin it tomorrow, all right? Okay. Cheers. Well, that Linda Mines is a funny girl. 
She knocked at me some stick yesterday morning, you know. You'd swear it was my fault she was late for work. She'd have heard the same from Mike by now. And yet last night she was a totally different girl. You can never tell with women, can you, eh? Bottle of vino, touch of the old Julio Iglesias. She gets all romantic, wants me to make love to her over the table. Very embarrassing. Can't use that restaurant again. <laughs> as old as you are, Roach. Come on, Mike. I want you to do a recce. Receiving Sierra Oscar, go ahead. Yes, sir, it's the plan to arrive at the scene of yesterday's accident. Do you want me to send him down there, over? Yeah. Anything else? Yeah, still can't get hold of Mrs. Simpson. We've left messages everywhere. Over. We'll keep trying. Over and out. That accident will keep Bob going for months. Yeah, well, he loves all that, doesn't he? Hello, here we go. We're in business, Gov. Sierra Oscar 4, Sierra Oscar 92, are you receiving? Over. 92 receiving, loud and clear. Sierra Oscar 4, loud and clear. All other units on this operation, let's go. Governor about, mate. In here. Cheers. Uh, you stay there. Carry on what you're doing. Morning, gentlemen. What's this all about? Who are you? It's the law, ain't it? You. Outside. Is it all right if I finish my hand? Out! Where's your brief? Show these gentlemen the warrant, then spin the place. Bob, what the bloody hell is going on? Detective Sergeant Burns, what are you doing? Don't talk to him, Bob! Come here! Wait, Governor, you know what you just said? You bastard! Yeah, that's what I've been trying to tell you. You've just busted in on my job. On my manor, governor. There is a big ringing firm operating out of this yard. Stolen motors to the continent. I have been working on it for months. Doing what? Posing as a buyer. Is it all right if I turn round now? This morning, I have been arranging to have a motor crated up and shipped out to my villa in Marbella. Do what? Yeah. That's what this is all about. Who are you dealing with? A fella called Regan. This old man Galley's son, Mark. 
that's breathing his mark galley, the rally driver. That's how he's been financing his rallying. Where is he? Somewhere around the other side of those arches, crating up my motor for me. That is, if you lot haven't frightened him off of all this commotion. Head Bob, come and be on the double. Quick! You stay there. Thanks. You are a silly man. Other side. Can you hear me? Well, no, no, lay still for a minute. Lay still for a minute. It's all right, I'm all right. No, just lay still for a minute. Mike! Hold your respect, Gov. Get stuffed. Like, like Six people have died because of your iffy motors, Regan. If I had my way, you'd be number seven. Uh, yeah, all right, Ted, all right. Come on. 
I'll tell you something, if you hadn't pulled me off, I'd have throttled that bastard. Yeah. Well, we're lucky we all didn't end up in hospital. Why don't you sit down, Bob? Take the weight off your legs. <laughs> yeah, why not? Mind you, better than having your eyebrows set alight, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> That Burke Burnside isn't set himself with creeping onto the manor and pulling strunks behind my back. He's now trying to pull a trumpet. Yeah, I think there's a bit of Viking in a bit of rape and pillage and all that. They were all at it, you know. He's got a longboat moored up the River Lee. <laughs> you know what he needs? A longboat right up his ass. <laughs> That's a bit of a nasty lump you got on the side of your bonds, love. Go away, Burnside. I've had enough for one day. Uh, you're just feeling a little bit touchy. Get a few more of those down, yeah? You'll be all right. All right for what? How do you fancy a trip to paradise? Why don't you get on with some work, Collis? I wish I could do exercises like that. You must be very fit. Oh, uh, sorry, madam, I didn't see you there. Uh, what can I do for you? I have to see um, Sergeant Cry. He, he left this note through my letterbox. Uh, my name's Mrs. Simpson. Oh, yes, uh, we've been looking for you since yesterday. Uh, just a minute. Uh, Viv? Yeah. Sergeant Cry, do you know where he is? Braydron, Information Centre. I can't run through at the moment. Both lines are engaged. Um, I'll tell you what, madam, I'll take you through myself. Oh. Do you want to come through? Thank you. Mind yourself. How much do you make from your no smoking day, sir? Twelve pound yeah. bloody fifty. Uh, <laughs> <a> tight <laughs> bastards on this dick. Yeah, well, you should have tried the toilet. Somebody's been smoking in there. A pipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I you, I you, I you, you. <laughs> Why do I do that? He <laughs> did. He <Eat> did. <laughs> I don't know why we're having this piss up. I'm in no mood for it. You speak for yourself, mate. <laughs> You've had too much to drink, Ted. You know, I reckon after the day, I'm a pretty good candidate for the robbery squad, actually. Mm. Mm. What, all that glamour? <laughs> <laughs> Booze, loose women, <laughs> do you no good? Oh. Hey, they wouldn't consider uniform, Sergeant. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, We've got more than enough villains on this ground. We don't need to go chasing all over the Met looking for them. Oh, yes, yeah. and with a bit more cooperation like today, we would nick some of them, Robert. <laughs> bomb, bomb! <laughs> Take <Take-win> <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Cry. Uh, Go on. Oh. 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 Back on the beat. Back on the beat. Sergeant Cry, man. Um, I, I'm sorry to bother you. Oh, you put a note through my letterbox. Oh, Mrs. Simpson. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, I, I went to a friend's yesterday and stayed the night. I, I didn't get back until... No, that's, that's all right, love. That's all right. I'm not taking you away from anything. You seem to be enjoying yourself. No, it's OK. Um, Hollis, will you take Mrs Simpson through to the charge room? I'll be right with you, man. Would you like to keep on turning around while I'm watching? <laughs> <laughs> all right, you should have brought her in, eh? Hey, been on the side. Oh, good boy. Oh, yeah, look at this. You're getting the tie on as well. Do you do it? Do you do it? Do you do it? Do you do it? Hey, look, 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 Burnside's trying to chat Duke up again. <laughs> you've, got, you've got more chance with Hollis. Maybe that's how he got his bad bike. Yeah, <laughs> I thought Ben Copper would somebody put me in a few, Bob. 